Hi, I'm Brian with ericksontutoring.blogspot.com. Today we're going to discuss the general direction of plate movement. So the theory of plate tectonics sort of describes uh, that the surface of the Earth is composed of several different parts that are all moving around um, on top of the, uh, sa the viscous mantle, which is the middle layer of the Earth. So the surface moves and each section uh, that moves is called a plate. Um, there's not really one general direction that plates move. Unfortunately, it's not that simple. Um, there are a couple of major plates and then also minor plates. Um, but there are three major types of boundaries, so the, the places where the two plates meet. And we'll discuss those because those are sort of general directions that plates might move. So first you have transform boundaries. Um, transform boundaries are those where two plates end up sliding past each other. Um, not really so much sliding as it is grinding. So you have one moving one direction and one just moving the other direction. Um, so think of the San Andreas fault. You have those faults moving, one moves up and the other one moves down and they just grind past each other. Okay, so the second type of plate boundary are divergent boundaries. In divergent boundaries you have two plates and they're spreading apart. Um, one really common place to find these are at uh, mid, mid ocean uh, ridges. So um, it's places where two plates are spreading up apart, like in the mid-Atlantic, and you have new plates being built right where they're spreading apart. You also have rift valleys, like the East African Rift Valley. That's another form of a divergent boundary. Okay, and our third type of plate boundary are convergent boundaries. These are places where two plates actually collide and, and come together. Um, when this happens, there are two major things that plates might do. So you have your two plates, and if they're a continental and an oceanic plate, one might, or if they're both oceanic plates, one will subduct or go under the other. Um, the oceanic plate is always going to do this because it's denser and uh, not as thick. So the oceanic plate goes, or I'm sorry, it's thicker, so it goes down, subducts. Um, a common place that this occurs is along the Pacific Northwest coast and um, the entire western side of South America. Um, you have the, the oceanic plate that's going under the continental plate and as a result you form mountains. Um, the other type of a convergent boundary is when two continents collide. Um, they sort of buckle and push up. Uh, the most prominent example of this is India colliding into Asia. India wasn't always a part of Asia. It used to be separate. It's collided and now you have the largest mountains in the world, the Himalayas, including Mount Everest. So they're continuing to grow as the continents collide at that convergent boundary. So this has been a brief discussion of some of the general movements and directions of plates.